hello guys and welcome to another Genshin video as always I'm Kad and if you find yourself enjoying as you watch just hit that subscribe button and give it a like okay so now I'm just exploring the game because there are so many things you can find this is my first time really fighting enemies so let's see what I can do I actually keep forgetting that I can use R2 and use a m the wind move because it's so much easier just to press O and just use my blade. It works well. Okay, so I got a lot of uh, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of food. Oh damn, I'm on fire. <laughs> Make sure when you play this game to collect everything. That's one thing with Genshin. So you don't have to buy things. That's my one goal playing this game. I don't want to buy anything. So I'm going to try and find everything I need. And just use the characters that are given to me. I get a lot of money fighting enemies, so I guess when you get to the city there will be a lot of shops and stuff you can use the money for, so you just save it. Just save everything, honestly. Even if you don't know what your saving is, just save it. Later on in the game I'm sure you'll find out what it's, what, what it's for. Get all these chests that you can, collect everything, and just... Yeah, just save up on any, everything. I heard that in endgame, in the later part of the game, things will be way harder to get. So, just take advantage of finding things early on in the game and saving them. So I'm not sure what these are. Uh, I guess I can equip the ones I have. That's a tail of feather. That's max HP. I guess it gives you HP. I'm just gonna equip everything I have. I won't enhance them, I'll just equip them for now. Because I know throughout the game there's many characters and I don't know if this character is one that is going to be my main. So I'm just going to equip the things I, I have. And I'll make a decision if I want to en enhance them and have her be my main. But right now I'm not sure so I'll just save them. This world is really pretty. I, I say that in every video now but it's so true. The developers know what they were doing. They did such a good job. Like, praise to all of them. This is such a visually appealing game. Okay, so I'm now in the Whispering Woods. I wonder why it's called Whispering Woods. It looks just the same as the woods before. <laughs> so does this one whisper? <laughs> like I said, you get money. So you get money from fighting enemies. So it's good to just fight every, every enemy you see. Oh. 
Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> to grab hold of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah. Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh. What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Oh, that was pretty cool. Did you guys see Paimon's that dragon? Never seen a stone it's like crazy. This before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Okay, so that's interesting. I didn't know that dragons were in this game, but I th guess that's to be expected. And the guy, I think that guy is a character that we'll end up getting. Remember to collect everything, just explore. And just find everything you can, because it will the later part of this game. Oh, these are shiny. Hip. Okay, so I got some iron chunks, so that means I can, I guess I can use it to make something. Like, material for a sword. It's possible. And enhance my sword, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, so I, I accidentally oh, did not record well? me getting Amber, but I got a new character, we Amber. And yeah, you'll see her. You I see. Welcome travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurers Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the wilderness survival picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me.
Okay, so I'm cooking chicken mushroom. So this is something that we can make different combination of food to get more health in the game. So that's what they're teaching us. It's pretty interesting. Because the enemies right now aren't really that bad, but of course, as the game progresses, the enemies will get harder. So you'll need more health. Is it done? Makes sense. Mm, smells good. Let me try. Hmm. <laughs> The seasoning is just right. Tastes pretty good. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean. Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. Astra Abyssa.
This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. And that was Amber. I forgot to record getting her, but you guys will see more of her in more videos that I put out. Okay, and this is the end of this video. I'll be back with more Genshin soon, plus some other gameplays. I hope to see you in the next one. Check it out. <laughs>